made it! A city dead for a thousand years. A city I had to see with my own eyes. Wow. The end of Yuna's journey. The last chapter in my story. What's up guys? This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and we are near the end of our journey. Well, let's play Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Well, we got through Mount Gagazet, oh, well, the caves anyway. <laughs> we're not at the summit yet, but... We're almost there. I didn't make any changes to my team since last time, so we're all set and ready to go. Alright, we're almost there, viewers. Xanarkand. Just around the bend. Whew. Is that it? We made it! A city dead for a thousand years. A city I had to see with my own eyes. The end of Yuna's journey. Mm. The last chapter in my story. Why make it sound so damn boring? My thoughts, they kept floating up and then slipping through my fingers. I... Slipping away before I could pin them down with words. I can only imagine, bruh. Holy shit. Yuna, I say no. If we go down there, then you'll... Mm. <sighs> Riku, you're a true friend, and I thank you, but... I must go... down to Sanarkand. saying we shouldn't go but should we think about it some more there's got to be some kind of way we can save you Yuna all my life I knew this moment would come Yuni <sighs> thank you Riku thank you for everything Kind of sphere? This isn't Jiskel's sphere, that's for sure. Newest guardian. Star player of the Xanarkand Abes. You are. I am. Can't even say his name. Well, um. I'm glad. I'm glad that we met. We haven't even known each other that long, but... It's funny. So... So this is what it feels like. It's a much more wonderful feeling than anything I had ever imagined. Wonderful. But it hurts sometimes. I wonder... I... <laughs> I just want to say thank you for everything. <laughs> maybe... Maybe that's why it hurts. When I... When I think about us never being together again at all... No, 
I shouldn't say that. Uh, I'll do that part over. Um. What you up to? Hmm. So this is what was taking place during the, um, we were at the travel agency at the Meehan High Road earlier in the game. This is what Yuna was doing um, when she was there by herself. And so before Tita started talking to her, so she was, that, that sphere is literally her will. Basically, I, I, cut, I cut some parts out of it, viewers, because it's just, you know, like, oh, uh, thank you for everything, such and such and stuff. I, it was a waste of time to hear all that. But the, the important things with regards to Lulu and Waka and then with Titus and stuff, she already knew that she was about to die. She already knew what her fate would be. That feeling that she was talking about, I read it in the wiki because I didn't know what that meant. And then I realized she was talking about love because obviously... Well, she's in love with Titus, obviously, but she's never experienced real love before until until she met Titus. That's why it hurts so much, because she knows that she and him can never really be together, because, well, she's going to die at the end of her journey. At least that's what she thinks, anyway. So, needless to say, yeah, she was, that Will's literally her just saying goodbye to everyone. She also mentioned Kamari and stuff like that. Kamari found um, Yuna and Bevel after Braska defeated Sin and stuff like that, saying that it was the wish of a dying man for Yuna to be taken out of Bevel into Besaid and stuff like that. So, yeah, pretty much. Well, we're here. The Xanarkin Ruins at last. Hmm? Wow, this looks familiar. <laughs> yeah. Remember the intro movie? Yeah. We're literally in the intro movie now. But we're literally at the scene. Like, at the beginning of the game, we would never know what this scene meant. Because, well, obviously when we load the game up for the first time, I'm like, who the fuck are these people? Who's that chick with the big tits? <laughs> like, seriously. We wouldn't know what to expect from this scene at all. But then going through the entire game up to this point, now you will finally be able to realize the significance of this scene. Because you would never be able to really understand it at the beginning of the game, especially if you never played the game before. But once you finally do get to this point, you realize the melancholiness and the bittersweetness of this scene. Because you know very soon, very soon, Yuna's fate, Titus's fate, the fate of all of the gang is going to be decided at this place. The last chapter of Titus's story. And we never really we never would have known it at the beginning. Up till now. God, his eyes look gorgeous, man. HD remasters mwah, with those eyes. Definite get an A plus for me with the eyes. The visual, the, the facial features just look so much damn better, man. Mm. Mm. Uh, I look at this in the PS PS2 version. I'm like, <laughs> uh. listen to my story. This may be our last chance. We already listened to your story already. <laughs> Why mention, why say that now? Well, we're near the end of your story now. Uh, we're getting to the good shit now, viewers. Mm. Hashtag hey, there was more, right? Yeah, I mean, like that time. Uh, anyone? Right. I think. Yes? I think that we should stop. Maybe for now. <laughs> yeah, let's stop talking and reminiscing about the past. We, you know, it's time for me to die. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from her. Like, just shut up and just shut up so I can get the final Aeon. Right. Let's go. Right. 
Well, this is it. The final Aeon lies in the city. Tidus and Eunice's fate will be decided here, viewers. This is it. All right, let's go! But before we go too, too far, though... <laughs> yeah, go back, go back. Don't go too ham yet. Now, when we get... Now, when we get here initially, after we're finished Xanarkin, um, another one of those, um, teleporter thingies, like back in Gagazette, will appear here at the Xanarkin Ruins. Because technically, Xanarkin and Mount Gagazette are connected to each other, in a sense. So, as such, you can still go back to Mount Gagazette's, um, entrance and stuff from here. So, you know, just wanted to let you know that. That being said, though, this is it, viewers. Time to head through Xanarkins. Yes. Most of the enemies here inside, uh, most of the enemies here inside of the ruins, uh, they're pretty much the same enemies that we encounter back in the ga um, Mount Gagazette Caves, as well as on the mountain um, slopes and stuff. So really, there's no new enemies to show off until we get inside of the Xanarkin Dome, which is directly ahead of us. So needless to say, I'm going to, um, I'm going to fast forward a little bit because there's not really much here. Uh, wait a minute. God, there's a scene here. Whoa. Pretty. Looks like the far plane. Close enough. <laughs> Looks like the far plane. Yeah, it's close enough to be one. We're in a city full of the dead. This is literally the city of the dead. Literally. Of course it's gonna resemble the damn far plane. It's close fucking enough. In case, get a spiritual turge there for Riku. Alright, moving on with life. Uh, damn, that was quick. <laughs> ah, with the quickness. There we go. Alright. Journeyer of the long road. Name yourself. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the island of Besaid. Hmm. Your eyes, my dear, show me the long road you have traveled. Very good. You have journeyed well. Lady Yuna Leska will surely welcome your arrival. Go to her now and bring your guardians with you. Go. Yes. Who the f- Whoa! Were, were we just talking to a goat? You know what, never mind. I mean, I can't be too shocked at this, considering where we are. This is the Blitzball Dome. That we were at at the beginning of the game. Uh if it might benefit the future of Spira, I will gladly give my life. It is the highest honor for which a guardian might ask. Use my life, Lady Yoken, and rid Spira of sin. Lady Yoken? What? What was that? Our predecessors. Huh? She said Lady Yoken, didn't she? Wait, she guarded High Summoner Yoken? This dome is filled with fireflies. It's like one gigantic sphere. People's thoughts remain here forever. Creepy. Fucking creepy. So you mean while we're going through this damn place, we're going to be encountering um these spirits? Yeah, remember earlier back at the Comlands, we were talking to like a, a soldier in that gorge before the Cavern of the Soul and Faith, talking about Lady Yokan and that they um she trained in the Comlands because she was a crusader. That's why she was wearing the Crusader guard. In any case. Wow, well, look who we got here. Ow! Bitches. Y'all done? Cool, thanks. In any case, yes, yeah, these bitches again from Bavel. Um, I think these guys are slightly different. In fact, they are because they're different color. In any case, YAT97. 3,700 HP they're with the fire and water. And this guy here, um, YKT11. Let's see here. Also weak to fire, but also weak to ice. 6,200 HP. 
Ah! Move, bitch! You're in my way! There you go. You can also bribe those fuckers, too. Damn! 40,000 AP! Mwah! 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 Triple AP weapons, viewers! Get them! Get them! They're good. They're good. Art! You're in my way! So, MOVE! There you go. And now take your AP while I'm at it. <laughs> Alright, I'm looking for the new enemies here, if they will ever show up. There you go! Now we're making progress. Let's see, Fallen Monk. These are the ones with the rifles, just like a Pavel. 3,300 HP. They're zombie enemies, obviously, so well. You can use a phoenix down on them, and you can just insta-kill their asses. Because, well, they're already dead. Or you can bribe them. Here, take my money. Get the fuck out of my face. What? I can't bribe them? Oh, you can't bribe them. Okay, well, never mind then. Okay, so you can fuck off. <laughs> and yeah, since they're humanoid, you can't capture them either. So, you know, there you go. Alright, but you can bribe this guy, though. Move, bitch. Good job, Riku. Alright. But yeah, they give you ethers. Nice. Alright, now then. Cool. Extra money. Gotta love it. For anyway. that hair anywhere that was Seymour like a young version of Seymour and that woman there was his, his mother now that I think about it Lulu did say something earlier back in Guado Salam that she she said that well obviously Maester Jisco married a human woman that human woman will obviously is Seymour's mother hey that's Chet and Orn in them uh. hey Braska you don't have to do this Thank you for your concern. Fine, I said my piece. <laughs> well, I haven't. Lord Braska, let us go back. I don't want to see you die. You knew this was to happen, my friend. Yes, but I... I cannot accept it. <laughs> Oren, I am honored that you care for me so. But I have come to kill grief itself. I will defeat sin and lift the veil of sorrow covering Spira. Please understand, Oren. Yeah, but that didn't really help much, did it? Look at Oren standing there like, uh, We didn't change a thing! NOT A THING! <laughs> I lost my best friends! I lost my best friends and we didn't change shit! We didn't change shit! No! No! <laughs> Damn. I can only imagine the grief that Orn is feeling right now. Looking back at his memories and just seeing this shit unfold again. It's just... Huh? Well, we're here. Are the trials ahead? Probably. Here too, huh? Give me a break. Right. I was expecting, you know, parades and fireworks. You can ask for them after I defeat Sin. <laughs> or you could provide them yourself! Bruh. But I guess he didn't know that at the time. <laughs> you can ask for the fireworks and shit after I defeat Sin. Or you could provide them yourself. Hint, hint, considering what Jet would later become. Hint. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. But come on, the, you gotta see the irony in this, viewers. Come on. It's, it's sad, but, it, bruh. 
In the case, this is it. The Xander King Cloister Trials. One more trial to face. Be right back. All right, viewers, I'm back. On screen, I wanted to encounter the Defender Z so I could um bribe the bitch. But yeah, the Defender Z um <laughs> the way they run off when you bribe them is just fucking hilarious. But if you do manage to bribe them for the designer wallets, the ability that you can get is Gillionaire. Basically, it doubles the amount of guild that you earn, so it's kind of like the amulet coin in the Pokemon games. Except you don't have to have someone in the lead for it. Well, actually, you do need it. You actually need it on your weapon. No one forget it. But yeah, um, Gillionaire. So if you, well, don't have any money, um, Gillionaire. There you go. That's what you can get from the designer wallets. I forgot to mention this, but there is another um, ability here, Magic Counter, that you can get from the Shining Gems. Which allows you to strike back after being attacked with magic. I thought it was kind of like the ma um, you know, like the return magic ability in Final Fantasy IX, but apparently not. You like, if you don't have the magic, you can't fucking do that, huh? What's this? What the fuck is this, Tetris? Huh? Might as well be. So yeah, our final cloister of trials in the game. And we're playing Tetris. Really, nigga? I. <laughs> but yeah, you see the diagrams on the thing there? You have to memorize where they are on here. So basically where they are on the on the screen, you have to go to where the you um, would think they are on the on the floor here. So basically. Stuff like that. Did I do it? Tetris level one complete. Uh huh. Pedestals. Okay. Well, we're not done yet. We just solved the first puzzle. Hmm. Interesting. Well then, after doing this, we gotta push these pedestals in. Yoink! the hell? Hmm. Wait a minute, was this- I pushed this in! Oh, so you could- Wait a minute, so you have to do these one at a time? Oh, that is bullshit. <sighs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> That's how it has to be, so it shall be. Luckily, I do have a map of this section here. Alright, now, what we gotta do first, we got the Kilika Spheres here, so, ah, take this out, it'll get dark as shit in this place, just, but n not as dark as Rock Tunnel. Alright, we got this, then we have to go back to the small room, alright, and then we gotta place it in the left pedestal. Alright, this one, yoink! There we go. But yeah, our goal here is to create these little um, glyph um, icon things in the center of the room. So, there you go. Alright, now. The save point will appear now. Alright, now. We have to also solve these puzzles here, too. Now, do not remove this sphere here. Because we need this to actually solve the puzzle. Alright, basically. Dadlessly annoying. In the video description, I'm going to put the um, solution to these. I mean, it's not really a solution, but it's a map of where these colored um, squares are that you need to step on. And yeah, this is going to take me a bit. So, needless to say, so needless to say, I'm going to do most of this off screen, but you should be able to figure this out on your own. Just look at the map that I provide that has the, where these color um, things are, and you'll solve it in no time. Be right back. All right, viewers, I'm back. Finally solved most of the puzzle. Just one more thing to do. Got to now finally take out the Besaid Sphere, and then put it in the last thing. Now, I went from left to right on this. I recommend that you do the same. It's a bit easier to understand. So, yeah, pretty much. Alright, that should do it! Yup. Yeah. Huh? 
हाँ Face down, ass up. Whoa. Cool. I like I like how the floor glows like that. That is fucking epic. But we're not we're not out of the woods yet. Oh hell nah. Nah. We're just getting started. One more thing to do before we get down to the bottom floor. Make sure to equip berserk proof on your equipment, viewers. Because surprise boss fight! <laughs> yeah, where did this bitch come from? Yeah, what? The Whoa! Big ass monster! It looks like he's ready to fuck some face with those big things. So it's time for a boss fight versus the spectral keeper. Different than his his. Sanctity or Sanctuary Keeper cohorts and stuff like that. Yeah, this guy is a hell of a lot more annoying. 52,000 HP has no weakness. Here's the thing. His most annoying attack is Berserk Tail. That's why I said you need to have Berserk Proof or Berserk Ward on your equipment. We also have different circles that you can move your characters in. It uses up a turn, but at the same time, it will massively help out to avoid his attacks. Have your characters spread out to like one every other um circles. So like where Titus is, and, um where Titus and Waka are, they stay where they are. Riku instead of putting her where I put her, put her behind where the spectral keeper is. Keep them apart from each other because if you have them together, they will get killed. Because his glyph mine attack will insta kill characters that are on that spot. But I'm not wasting time with this dude. I went through literally almost half, or oh, like 20 minutes solving that damn puzzle. Fuck this guy. Damn this as my reward after dealing with all that shit? Hell nah! Duh! Fuck you, bitch! Hey! Here's my reward to you for putting me through that shit. Fuck off! attacked by and by a by random ops yeah fuck that uh-uh well this is it we defeated the boss got the elevator time to head down to the chain you know we're here the hall of the final summoning go yes go to your death <laughs> it's like, the way Orin said it, it's like, bruh, you know what awaits her, right? Wow. Just fucking sad. Huh? What do you mean, no final Aeon? What? What the fuck did he say? No final- Sir Orin! Everyone! What did he mean, no final Aeon? Oh, uh, we need to figure out what the fuck's going on here. What did Jet mean by no final Aeon? What's going to happen? Well, find out as a Clement as we find out Yuna's fate. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for giving me a visit from me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell to notify them my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. So next time, dudes and dudettes, my great break game and hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smell you later.